Eat it, Diesel. Keep eating. Stop pushing it around. Don't put. You know you can't bury it and save it for later. He doesn't even have anything on the bed. <laughs> He's just playing with the sheets. He's pretending to eat. He's not ready for breakfast. Chevy, on the other hand, finished no problem. So good morning, everybody. Another new day is here. The whole family is here. And we're about to go deliver our freight in uh, Hardesty, stop Alberta. Pretending. And Diesel's gonna stop pretending to eat. You're a terrible actor. <laughs> this is not a good career choice. Diesel. Maybe he'll eat later. Eat your food. But we're gonna grab a coffee. Uh, we gotta get our reload later this afternoon yet. And then head back home. So we should be home tomorrow night, like I was saying. That's the plan. But we'll see how everything goes today. And we have, uh, let's say, 30, 9, 10, 11, 12. Well, four and a half, five hours to get to our destination, which is 370 kilometers away. So we should have enough time. We should. It's a, down like a two-lane road, but uh, I'm pretty confident we'll be early. That's always good. Let's get it going. So how do we make it work with two adults, two big dogs, and one little dog in one truck? I don't know. How do we make it work? How do we make it work? <laughs> it's working, though. I haven't had coffee yet. I can't answer questions. I know. Don't interrogate me. What is this? An interview? Jeez. I don't know why I started vlogging before I got my coffee. <laughs> Here we are. Come on, you. It's worth this Esso. We say this Esso just south of Saskatoon. And uh, as soon as we grab our coffee, maybe we'll be a little bit more with it. Did you know that they collect PC points here? She's all about her Superstore PC points. Or I guess it's President's Choice. Ow! It's Shoppers Drug Mart and President's Choice. I think uh, shop, no, Pres President's Choice bought out Superstore or something like that. Ah, is President's Choice an Amer American company? Uh, no, it is it's a Canadian. Canadian. Just wondering because Superstore is called, the official name of Superstore is the real Canadian Superstore. I always wonder why they call it that, the real Canadian is Superstore. Is there a fake one? Yeah, where's the fake ones? How do we know which ones are fake news? I don't know, man. As long as they give me points, I don't care if they're fake. That's why I just go to Walmart. You can rely on Walmart. They're honest. But they don't give points or money back. That's true. So there's that. And everything there is made in China. That too, yeah. But they have more than Superstore does. That's I true. I say Walmart's still better. Yeah, they have an automotive department. Superstore doesn't. Mm -hmm. They have better home decor for you mm -hmm. ladies out there. We need our coffee, so we'll see you down the road. And we're off. I'm back at it. Woo! Woo! Super excited. Chevy, why are you laying on Frankie's blanket? Poor <laughs> little guy. Time to work cozy away. So, it snowed a little bit last night, which I was a little bit surprised to see. What? Uh, yeah. You didn't notice? You're just like, oh, my lane's ending. One second here. Turn left on Grasswood Road. That turn. Way to go, Mandy. Didn't even tell me my lane was ending. That was rude. Doesn't stop talking. She when... hasn't had her copy either. That's true, and you're in the truck, so. I'm sure she's playing it cool. She gets defiant. She Didn't talks worry. to me more when you're not in here. I knew it. Yeah. So we've got to go around Saskatoon and about four hours east, uh, just into Alberta, Hardesty, Alberta, deliver this steel to a, an oil field site or, or an oil storage facility, I think that's what it is. I don't know, something to do with oil. Something to do with Alberta.
quickly rush in the morning to get the receiver so that we could get our steel unloaded. That took about three hours there. I had to roll up the tarps and they used a huge crane. And they gave me a set of coveralls to wear. That was three hours? Yeah. It didn't there. feel like three hours, but I was editing vlogs. Yeah. Huh. Time flew. It feels like it's a lot longer when it's cold outside. We got there at about 1.30 and our appointment was for 2, so we were early. And we got out of there at 4.30. 1, 2, 3, 4, we had 3 hours. And now we have to quickly rush over to Meadow Lake, Saskatchewan, to get our load of lumber on us. They're there till 10 o'clock, and by the looks of it, we'll be there at about quarter to 9. So they'll quickly load us up with lumber. And I'm taking that to the yard. I'm actually going to stay on the load so I don't have to take my equipment off it or anything. And we're going to leave with that to Wisconsin. Where, where was it going? In Iron Ridge or something like that? Yeah, I think so. Iron Ridge, Wisconsin. So Britt's going to stay at home for that trip. And then I'll probably come back from there. I'm guessing they'll probably have a load of glass going back to BC. I'm just guessing because that's usually what happens when I'm in that area. And then I'll come back home and pick up Britt. Then we'll go to BC and back together. For now, we have to go and... Well, if we don't get loaded today, we're not going to get home tomorrow. And I want to be home tomorrow. I'm making a mess over here. Are you? I'm covered in egg salad and coffee. And I'm like a three-year-old today. Welcome to the Canadian roads. Oh my gosh. That's why we wear our seatbelts up here. It's not, it's not actually to save us in an accident so that we don't fall out the window. That's a bad joke. My dad's joke. It's of course a great it is. joke. Of course it is. It's a great joke. I'm gonna pass that one on to my son one day. Buckle yourself in so you don't fall out. Well, they don't seem to be absorbing your jokes yet. They love They're them. the only sons you have. Diesel laughs at all my jokes. Right, Diesel? No, he laughs at you. I think he's laughing with me. <laughs> he smiles. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. We'll have to wait till the next life to ask him. So like I was explaining to you earlier, I think it was earlier today, right? All our plans for this weekend. We're hoping to have our friends James and Laura down tomorrow. No, on Friday. And James's birthday is uh, two days after mine on the 3rd and mine's on the 1st. So we're going to do like a, a double birthday thingamajigger. They are almost exactly 10 years apart. Two days yeah. less, 10 years. Yeah. I never thought of that. That's right. We talked about that last time they were over, right? Yep. I keep forgetting that. He doesn't seem like he's 10 years older than me. We seem like the same age in my mind. Yeah. I don't know if that means that he seems more 30 or if I seem more 40. You guys are just both big kids. Maybe we're like, all. we're like, we meet in the middle, like we're both 35. like 35. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what we're going to do. I wanted to invite him down for a guy's night. So it, it'll probably turn into a couple's night. I don't know because... You wanted to hang out with Laura, and I wanted to hang out with James. They're 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 married. We can send you, you guys to the garage, and me and Laura can just have the house. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Maybe James and I will like take the because I think he's into Call of Duty. Oh shoot! No, we don't have internet in the garage. I'll say we take one of the smaller TVs and the PS3, and I'll let you guys play on the big TV. It's your birthday after all. Yeah, it's our birthday. We're playing. You go to the garage. I'm glad the camera's not facing this way because that death stare might break the lens. He might not make it home, guys. You don't hear from Trucker Josh again. It was me. So you're welcome. I saved you from that. Oh, it was worse than that. It's our birthday. We get the house. I said you can use the TV, okay? And the coaches? Maybe? Wow. I love birthdays. <laughs> Saturday we're gonna go meet uh, her dad and stepmom because her dad's birthday is actually two days before mine, right? Mm -hmm. So he's two days before me and James is two days after me. So it's a and my sister's also what three days before me. Yeah, the day before my dad. So it's just a week full of birthdays. So Sunday is a relaxing day, maybe we'll go depends if my sister Rose is at mom and dad's if we're doing something for her birthday or not but then on my birthday birthday it's just
just like a day to relax, just to do nothing. Or whatever I want. I reserve the right to do whatever I want on my birthday. I might bring the motorcycle inside the house. It's my birthday. I just want to put out there that you've never been home for a single one of my birthdays. What? Not once. You've never been home on July 25th. That's not true, is it? No, we've been together for three birthdays and you've never been home for one of them. No way. You've I celebrated with me either year. before or after. I am a terrible husband. Okay, well this year, for sure. It's my 30th, it's a big one. Oh, for sure, yeah. I thought for sure that, I know I wasn't there last year, but I thought that I, I was there the year before. No, but you did fill the camper full of balloons and then That's right. three days before my birthday and then you left. But I still kept the balloons in the camper and partying with them on my birthday, with the wieners. We were living in the camper at the time. Me and I, the wiener dogs and the balloons. I can't believe it. You know how my whole audience is going to be on my back now about how I keep missing your birthday? They're not going to let me live that down. At least he works hard. At least he's not missing my birthday because he goes to Vegas and gambles or something or goes and hangs out with another girlfriend. He's working. <laughs> well, this year, it's her 30th birthday this year. I got some some ideas. You want to be an old bag? No, not quite. No, not quite there yet. A few decades, half a century, then maybe. Okay, well, July 25th this year, guys, I'm gonna be home, and it's gonna be, it's gonna be epic. We're gonna make her 30th birthday something big. Diesel's pretty excited about it. Yeah, I'm gonna get him on it. Chevy's gonna help. Frank's definitely gonna help. Got a few contacts. Frankie's gonna hang the banners. Frankie's gonna hang the banners. That's his one <laughs> job. <laughs> on the floor. No one else. <laughs> Why are all the banners on the floor? It's Frank's job. Frank, you. you had one job, Frank. <laughs> Hang the banners as high as you could. Three inches. I really had to stretch for that one. <laughs> Getting further north here in Saskatchewan. Just getting to the edge of the prairies and entering into the forest, the boreal forest, I guess that's what this would be. This stretches all the way up into the territories. Got, I don't know, one GPS says we have one hour to our shipper and the other GPS says we have an hour and a half. I got them both going. Following the shorter one. But we just went through a little bit of a what would you call that, a gust of snow? Oh, it's still coming, it's just very light now all of a sudden. Very light snow, but we are pretty far north right now. So we'll go back to Saskatoon tonight, it probably won't be snowing there anymore. By the time we get home, hopefully most of the snow in our yard is gone. I'd love to have a bonfire this weekend. Agreed. That'd be cool. I'm sick of winter. I'm done with it. I was done after Christmas. Every year. Yeah. That's all we need snow for. We just need our snow for Christmas, and then after that, we're good. It doesn't need to hang around so long, but... It's like that guest that overstays their welcome. Yeah, every time. Always overstays its welcome. And that's the end of another day. It's the next morning already. And she still didn't kill me. She still didn't shower either. Yeah, we couldn't make it to the Flying J. So uh, we got to uh, stop by in Saskatoon on the way past and have a shower. Which reminds me, we should probably get going. I gotta end today's vlog for you though. Thanks for hanging out with us and making sure we don't get into too much trouble. Tomorrow will be another vlog and we're gonna get home tomorrow. At least I really hope so. We got 1,063 kilometers left to go and a uh, full day to get there. So I don't see why not. Take care and I'll see you then. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a new video every day.